Hello lovelies, welcome to Light Language with Louise for the upcoming new moon in Scorpio on 15th of November. So this new moon feels actually very gentle and healing. Sun and moon in Scorpio. Scorpio is a sign of healing and transformation. It is about looking underneath the surface, dropping in more deeply. And it feels that this moon, there's a real invitation to drop into that tender place inside us where we can just be with ourselves and find the grain of truth, the grain of self belief, connection to our values that's going to lead us from this deep heart centered place that's going to lead us into what's new for us, what's arising as the next level of our expression in the world. Now we have some Jupiter energy here as well, which is actually feels very soothing. So while Scorpio can do that deep dive, you know, the real invitation here is to drop out of the, the chaos and all of the challenge that we've had this year that's all kind of around us and to really find that nurturing, soothing place of stillness within, you know, underneath the surface, back to that kind of seed in the earth or deep underneath the water, you know, Scorpio is a water sign, and down to the depths, almost as if you're like, you know, sitting on the bottom of the swimming pool, right? Or sitting on the bottom of the ocean, on the ocean bed, and there's all the activity above you, but you're finding this pure, still place of potential. Now, uh, we also have that Mars energy that uh, Mars has been retrograde for a couple of months now. And that Mars energy is about that active kind of dynamic energy. What's fresh? What's new? What am I moving into? So there's that potential for that now. But really this new moon is inviting us to take a pause a moment, to take a moment of reflection and really integrate and meet the experiences we've had this year. You know, and I love to, you know, work with the compassion, the self-directed compassion. What wants to be just felt? What wants to be just met? What parts of you might be feeling a little fragile and just need a little bit of that reset, quiet, stillness time before your heart can lead you into the next level of expression. We also have kind of Venus in the mix here. Venus very much about values. Venus is also, um, you know, inviting us to look at our relationships. So again, we always have this constant challenge around how do we stay true to ourselves, but in connection with others? How do we respect who they are while respecting who we are, right? And so that requires that time to yourself on your own to kind of reset, find out who am I? What's the truth of me? What's lying beneath? What's calling my heart? And then to be able to go and interact with others, knowing that for yourself, like finding that inner compass that's gonna, your own North Star, right? That's guiding you so that you know what the, the best way to interact with others, the best way to, you know, be with others, accommodate others, relate, relate to them in a way that doesn't compromise who you are. And you know, we're almost at the end of 2020 now. It's been an incredible year and 2021 is going to really call us into more of our truth, call us into more of our sovereignty, call us to start birthing these new paradigms, new ways of being on the earth that really start with us and start with our hearts and start with that, um, you know, with you being really true to yourself. So finding that inner compass that's going to allow you to move through all of the challenges of the external realities, you know, with that North Star, with that guiding light that comes from within you. So I really invite you to take some time at this moon, which is coming up on the 15th of November. Really give yourself a little moment of reset, a little moment of reconnection, a little moment of dropping into your deeper truth, presencing all the feelings, all the emotions that want to be met, really giving yourself that time for that so that you can then open to the new from a really a place of clarity, um, really feeling that clear space uh, and that, you know, that, that um, freedom that comes when we're willing to presence all that we've experienced and then let it go and make that space for the new. 
So as always, I'm going to ask for a light language transmission to flow through now to support you in the highest for you at this time. Your higher self will direct the frequency uh, in the highest way for you. So calling for that transmission to help us to really take that time for ourselves for that moment of inner reset to help us to recognize in ourselves what needs to be present and recognize what is the next asking what is what's what's arising within us what's the seed of that right and it might be that you come out of this process just with that little seed that little impulse that little intuition it may not be the great big plan yet but just a sense ah oh, yes this is me this is the light this is the little star that's you know the fairy that's going to guide me right so asking for support for us to truly recognize that to recognize ourselves and our heart impulses and to be able to follow through on those when the time is right so just taking a deep breath and closing your eyes feeling beautiful Gaia beneath your feet feeling your own higher self with you now guiding what you will receive to be in the highest for you and just opening your heart allowing the healing frequencies to empower and activate you Lord, I am Kia <laughs> Angora sad ib arkut ab eberna sot ek irkut arkacha arkut amasak irkut in rig er ot or ot ar imasak or eleki erkat in Angor elele or ol ani riit sar om eakar it it or ot am. And taking a deep breath and exhaling. So what they were showing me there was, you know, a diamond is formed by a lot of pressure. So they were inviting us to drop deeply down and find the diamond that lies underneath all of the layers of experience, of pain sometimes, of challenge, right? And to allow yourself in this dropping down process to reach deep enough to find that diamond, right? Find that gift. That, that bead of light that wants to be brought back to the surface, right? And this is very much the Scorpio energy of being willing to dive deep down into the darkness so that you can bring back that jewel of insight, that jewel of transformation, that jewel of intuition and vision um, and heart light, they're saying, right? So we wanna be willing to do that deep dive so we can bring back those treasures, right? bring them back into the light of our lives and our current experience and let them lead us forward. So thank you for joining me. I wish you a beautiful, beautiful new moon in Scorpio. Be kind to yourself, be gentle with yourself, be compassionate with yourself and I look forward to connecting with you in another couple of weeks before the full moon. Lots of love. Namaste. Thank you for watching.